Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to RCG Gaming and welcome to a Minecraft TU54 update. Now, I'm super excited about this. Um, I'm not excited. I've only just wanted to get my voice back after having problems with my teeth and stuff. Um, and I thought, you know what? I ain't played Minecraft for such a long time. But I wanted to just have a little look at it, see some of the new features. Um, I was having a bit of a mess around, loading up tons and tons of seeds. Uh, to see if I could find a mansion and stuff, and I have found one literally as soon as you um, load up a world, and as long as you got it in classic, um, and there's a couple of new options as well now where you can choose the biome size. Um, and what I did is I just kept the biome in small because I thought I don't want really like large biomes at the moment and stuff. Wanted to keep it all on a classic map to make it easier to explore them, see if I could actually find a mansion, and I found one. And it's for this seed, which is going to be up on the screen now and stuff. Okay, so literally you type in that and you will be able to load up the same word as this one. But like I said, keep it on, okay, a classic and also small biome. So what we do is we'll go to load it up um, and then I'll show you where the mansion is, show you where you spawn. Yeah, and then we'll have a little look around the mansion. So here we go. Right then, everybody, here we go. We've now loaded up and as you can see there... On the console edition is a mansion which is absolutely fantastic um, and if we just have a look on the map here if we go to roughly where you spawn if i can remember rightly yeah i think you roughly spawn around this location in the swamp here okay so literally you'll spawn here um and then all you do is just head if we look on the map now there you go okay head to the top left hand corner okay and you'll just see the woodland mansion there and stuff okay and there we go right literally on the spawn point which is quite good because if you're doing this in survival um you get all the new mobs and everything um what's in that building out you could actually use that one as a nice little starter base um so yes yeah, so what we do is let's go and have a little explore around the mansion because there's a few little glitches from what i've seen from inside it and stuff um, I don't know if that's just due to the update coming out today or if this is what happens on the console editions. I'm not quite sure. Um, but yeah, at the moment, got it in peaceful. Okay, so we can have a little look around. Then I'll just turn it into um, easy or medium so then we can have a look at some of the new mobs. Um, if we put the night potion on for a second, okay, down here, you've got obviously your first floor. Um, I'm not quite sure what these rooms actually am because it's got stairs, it's got pumpkins, and it's got a lot of rails um, all on the top and stuff like that. So I ain't too sure what they're for. Um, but nevertheless, if you come down here, okay, you've got this little area. Now, I'm not quite sure if there's going to be anything. Hold on, let's just have a... Okay, so you can get through that on the other side, but um, yeah, you can just break through the walls and stuff like that, but... There we go. So if we now have a little look around here. Um, in here, obviously you've got a load of sea, um, saplings and stuff, which is pretty cool, really. Um, obviously, they're not going to grow here. So what you do is just take out the dirt, take the saplings out, find another location. Okay. And in here, you've got a load more saplings as well, which is um, pretty awesome. And yeah, it's got its ladders to add the time up. So these, I'm absolutely, like I said, these are mute. You end up getting lost when you're inside them. Um, but if you come around the back end, you've got a villager looking at you there. Very nice. Good day, sir. Nice to meet you. Ah, now, this is the bit I like, yeah? Because if you're going all around these stairs, yeah, you might think to yourself, hang on a minute. I've only just walked down here. Um, where am they taking me? But... The good thing is that if you keep following this staircase, there you go, you've got a nice little hidden chest as well. And in that chest, you've got some rotten flesh, um, string, you've got some beetroot seeds, you've got a disc, um, plenty of wheat seeds, bones, um, name tags. So, yeah, that ain't a bad little chest, really. Um, what we do is, so let's continue the tour of this mansion. And like I said, this one is a little bit of a maze, really, to uh, yeah, to get yourself around and get yourself sorted. 
but there we go and that is pretty much as soon as you come in you were uh, you just walk down the corridors and yeah you'll come across that little hidden um, staircase and stuff now in here there's another little cool feature you've got them um, a little prison and stuff like that so if we have a little look in there there you go and there's a couple of beds and um, you've also got some cauldrons so that's a good once again that's good to get you like started and whatnot and then in here you've also got a joint story which is yeah absolutely fantastic i wonder if you could make it bigger let's have a look um yeah you could because what you could do is okay you could um literally knock that wall out and uh, make it the same entrance of that side and stuff and yeah then you could have it so that you've got the um, chest room linked to both sides of the corridor so that's quite a good little feature really um so that's that one inside here i'm not quite sure you've got a load of fences and another chest and what's in that chest oh there we go another disc and um, you've got some iron more string more bone so that's pretty awesome as well anything else no Okay, so that's two little discs we found, two hidden um, chests, which is pretty awesome. Um, in here, you've got, I think this is like your wall room or something like that, so that's pretty awesome as well. Um, and now, let me see, I told you, these places are absolutely huge. Right, okay, so there we was, okay. We um, bashed through the wall on the other side and stuff, but yeah, this is now another little villager with a torch by the looks of it. Um, and then we're back to another little one of them rooms and now like I said this is now where it gets a little bit on the strange side right because if you look at that that is a doorway <laughs> okay um, so if we now break this because that's how it should be okay just break your way through there you've now got a little bit of a tree farm which is pretty awesome um, and then you've also got an enchanted um, iron axe as well so you know that's a really good find but what i've done is as well to show you i've cleared um a little bit of a platform out here and if you only dig down a little bit okay you're pretty much right on top of this mine and stuff okay so i thought that is pretty awesome really so if you was to use this as a home for yourself you know you dig down from here and you've got yourself a nice little farm to get you started as well um and then we've got this little room here which okay it's a little bit random because you've got a banner going on there okay but there's another chest at the back of it oh yes look at that you've got a golden apple you've also got some redstone and you've also got a diamond hoe as well so that's pretty awesome i really i really like the stuff you're getting inside these mansions um that is pretty awesome now we're back to the start again okay so we've walked around it all we found three of the chests which is pretty awesome and now if we have a look up on the top floor there was another glitch um if we're to walk around this side okay you've got a couple of little entrances here where these are now where all the bedrooms are and stuff okay so you've got one bedroom going on there You've got a little office or something there, so that can be easily converted. Um, you've also got, an, let's see, you've got a room here, which has got loads of books in. Okay, you've got another little bedroom, but these could be converted into some quite decent libraries because um, you've got some more books going inside one of these rooms, which is pretty good, really. I quite like the idea of that. Um, and if we go further down yeah you've got another little bedroom Um, i'll show you that little glitch in a minute which is over there because that's why i've highlighted it um and then over here you've got more bedrooms and that's pretty much what upstairs is is all bedrooms um but as you know on these mansions there's like that little top layer and stuff and i was thinking to myself i couldn't find the stairs and it was frustrating me and um, so i started bashing away at some of the walls see if i could find it and yeah in here you have now got the um, the staircase to lead you upstairs and stuff. It's really weird how it's like 
glitched out. But like I said, if you were to convert one of these, you could easily put that back. Um, and then if we go up the stairs for a second, there we go. Now we're up onto the top floor. And up onto the top floor, you've got this little like restaurant or seating area. Um, as you can see, straight onto the roof and stuff like that. Um, and then you've also got, I think that's it really. Is that all what we've got up here? There might be some more little hidden rooms. See, you've got this one. I think that's meant to be some kind of like um, animal pen. I'm not quite sure really. I was a bit confused with that one. Um, but there should be another chest. Yeah, there we go. You've got another chest. And in there you've got chainmail armor, which is really good. Considering if you're on survival, you can't use get your chainmail armor, I don't think still. Um, so that's good. You've got loads of gunpowder, pumpkin seeds, more bones, more string. So you can get yourself um, established really well with that one. Um, and what else is there? Let me just see. Okay, in this one, you've got a giant cat. Um, let me see. Is there any hidden chests in the cats? I'm not quite sure. Let's boss our way through and let's see if there's anything inside. But so far, I just think that's a hell of a lot of wool. So you don't even need to start shearing or killing sheep as soon as you, um, yeah, as soon as you get in. Because literally, um, you can just take away the villager, take away the cat, and you can get yourself your first night's bed all sorted. Plus, you've also got these beds which you can take out at the same time. Um, so yeah, that's it for the upstairs of the levels. Uh, but what we're doing now, we will turn on the uh, mobs and we'll get ourselves a little bit more established with some of the new kind of like villages you can get inside these mansions. So let's turn it. Yeah, let's just get, get the mobs on and let's sort these out. Right there, everybody. Now we've got mobs on. Hopefully, we should start to see some. Um, yeah, we should see some soon. I'm hoping so. It's uh, my, I was trying to find them. Come on, where am you? Okay, so we've got a normal spider and a skeleton over there. Um, because even though all these corridors are more lit, the rooms are not. Okay, so you're gonna find a creeper in that one. I want the new ones. Where's these new? Uh, where's the new villagers? Anybody for anyone? Not as yet. And obviously you've got your villager head up there as well, which is, yeah, pretty awesome. Okay, so you've got uh, a skeleton. Okay. There's going to be quite a few mobs in here to clear out before you can actually use it as your uh, main living place. But, so far, it's all the old mobs. Hmm. It's a bit weird, because this is one of the uh, mansions where the new villager should be, but yeah... They don't appear to be in here. Hello, anybody home? Um, I don't know. Let's go and have a look downstairs. Because otherwise, I can't show you. Unless I spawn them in, but I was hoping they might spawn naturally. Um, anybody for anyone? No. When I've looked on these on the um, PC and stuff, there was absolutely loads of them about. Absolutely loads. Um, okay, so we've been into that room, been into that room. Hello, new villagers, where are you? You're meant to be protecting yourself. Um, yeah, by the looks of it, there isn't. So let's, um, hang on, let's see. Let's go to the spawn eggs. Let's see if we can spawn one in just to have a look. Um, and like I said, I ain't played Minecraft for quite a while, so it's figuring out where I think is it. Okay. Um, ah, see, look, you can actually get um, skeleton horses as well. Now you can spawn in um, a zombie horse, which is pretty cool. A lemur. Um, you get your usual donkeys. Now, where is a uh, where? There's that many different spawn eggs. It is unbelievable. Okay, what's that? What the hell's on it? Am you new or am I just seeing things? Oh, wicked. Parrots are colourful birds that 
inhabit jungles. They enjoy perching on. Okay, so we've got got parrots. I don't know if that's a new one to this. You'll have to let me know in the comments or stuff. But that is pretty cool. Oh, I quite like the idea of parrots. That's that's freaking awesome. Absolutely awesome. Anyway, where was we? That's it. We'll get one of we we'll get one of you and one of you and one of you. Okay, now these are the ones what should be in here. You got one of him, one of them, and we'll put one of them. So yeah, these are your new villagers. Um what inherit the mansion and you've got to take these out before obviously you can um take over and stuff. But yeah, that is pretty much it then for this um video and stuff. If you want to see some more TU54 like um, little bits and pieces and stuff, if you want me to showcase off some of the new mobs, the skeleton horses, just comment down below. I'll bring you some more videos. We'll have a look together at some of the new and exciting stuff you can actually get for this update and stuff. But yeah, sorry it was a little bit long, get a bit carried away and stuff like that. But once again, everyone, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, remember, smash the like button. Also, hit the little subscription button if you've not already. And until the next video, everyone, keep safe, and I will see you all soon. Goodbye.